we're seeing a steady digital transformation taking place in this part of the world, driven initially by the need for business efficiency and now moving towards a much more future-looking growth expectation as well. And the cloud is critical in delivering this. It enables organizations to deploy solutions more rapidly, to change course in response to what the business needs, and to manage their infrastructure investment, moving from that CapEx towards a more OpEx model. So really, it ticks all of the boxes for underlying that technology transformation. I think there are concerns about digital sovereignty uh, and network reliability, and that's why it's really important to have technology stacks spanning public cloud and private cloud and to make sure you have a consistent experience across them. But ultimately, cloud technologies are incredibly important for future of digital technologies in this part of the world. So one of the biggest challenges is skills. A lot of organizations lack the skills, especially at the advanced architectural level, to really take full advantage of cloud. So they need to turn to technology partners, which are able to assist them with that, uh, to provide them with the skills, to provide them with the optimized solutions so that they can get business value faster. So skills is a key part of it. Then there are concerns around risk. Uh, so making really strategic decisions around risk management and governance and digital sovereignty also extremely important and making sure that the technologies you choose align to those requirements. So in South Africa specifically, uh, some of the key concerns which come up most frequently are around energy risk, where there's a drive to move workloads out of data centers and into public cloud. And that's being balanced by concerns about uh, digital sovereignty, by privacy requirements, uh, which is really encouraging organizations to look for public cloud solutions hosted inside South Africa to make sure that it's got all of the governance requirements under control. In regulated industries like financial services or public sector, the, res the restrictions are tighter, but the basic drivers are the same. So uh, in those instances, it changes the risk equation, but ultimately they're still looking for the same capabilities. It just means they need to choose very carefully when they're looking at platforms and where they're hosted. We see very high adoption of cloud in financial services, which is tightly regulated, and there's interest growing in public sector as well, around deploying cloud as well. Very important for these organizations to achieve exactly the same capabilities, whether it's under infrastructure under their control, or in private cloud, or in public cloud hosted in country. So we advise customers to select their technology platform partners very carefully. And there are specific capabilities you should be looking for. One is ubiquitous deployment across private cloud and public cloud and on-premise computing. Another is the depth of capability, so the full stack capabilities in play with all of the tooling, uh, with all of the, te the supporting technologies in place and tightly integrated. That's just the start though, just as important as the technology roadmap, where the vendor is taking it, the capabilities they're bringing on board, new technologies like AI, how well developed that is, how advanced and how well integrated it is. So when you're looking at a sophisticated cloud stack like Huawei Cloud, look at it in the light of those requirements and make sure that you're weighing each consideration and not compromising it to make sure that you're getting the maximum value for your business.